Hi, my name is Cynthia A. Johnson. I'm the host of Stand Up Now with Cynthia A. Johnson, the after show. And with me is Tracy E. Green. She's a candidate for Third Circuit Court Judge. So on August 2nd, 2016, a Tuesday, I want you to look for her name. It's probably going to be on the back of the ballot. So go to the back of the ballot first. I do want you, though, to remember my name, Cynthia A. Johnson. I'm also a candidate, but running for state representative in House District 5. Thank you so much for joining me on the show today. You gave so much information, a wealth of information in regards to uh, foster care. Well, thank you so much for having me. I, I'm always so happy to talk about my work. And you, I mean, if we were going to elect anybody, you're one of the people that I definitely will be voting for. Well, I appreciate that I really so mean that. much. I, really I know that you're a woman of God. I am. The spirit just comes right on out. I am. I am. Where is your church home? I'm a member of Greater Christ Baptist Church, and that's located at uh, 3544 Iroquois in Detroit, right off of Mac and Iroquois. I've been there for 22 years. Ooh. I sing in the choir. I'm on the praise team. My pastor is the Reverend Dr. James C. Perkins, and he's also the president of the Progressive National Baptist Convention. So he's a, a very dedicated and busy man of God. He's a wonderful pastor. What about his wife? His wife is Linda Perkins. All right. And um, I always like to lift women up. And you should. I'm happy about that because he couldn't do what he does without support. That's right. You know, I, I can't speak from experience being in a fam about being in a family um, of a pastor, but I'm confident that he couldn't do all that he does without support. That's right. Because I know that my husband couldn't do all that. That's he does right. There you go. Support. That's right. But um, I, I'm so influenced by my faith in terms of my judicial philosophy. I, I made my platform fairness, dignity. And respect and the reason that I chose those three values is because unfortunately our society doesn't hold judges up to the same level of uh, reverence as it used to and I believe that the reason is because people don't believe that the judge is a, is someone who is looking out for them. Mm -hmm, that's right. They believe that the judge is someone who is looking out for him or herself. And there's a lot of self-aggrandizement to go around in every profession. That's right. But I believe that judges hold a very unique and important role in our society. And it's so critical that society members see them as credible, see them as reputable, and see them as espousing the highest moral values. Because they're standing, literally, in judgment of other people. That's right, yes. So it's critical that, from my vantage point, people know that my Christian faith informs everything that I do. And that wouldn't change when I become a judge. I'm going to ensure that everybody who leaves my courtroom leaves feeling as if he's been treated fairly, feeling as if his or her dignity has been upheld, and feeling as if he or she's been respected. And that goes from the bailiff, to the lawyers, to the litigants, to the jurors. Because the judge is a public servant. And I want... I just wish that elected officials would and appointees would realize that. They are, um, they're supposed to be servants yes. of the people, yes. for the people. What, I, what I'm so saddened by, uh, you know, all of the candidates are in a petition drive right now seeking signatures for their nominee the judges. petitions. And I'm so saddened when I encounter people who say, oh no, I don't, I don't want to sign your petition because I don't, I don't like judges. 
And some of them may be just saying that as an excuse not to sign. Mm. But you can sense when someone is being genuine. And there are so many people out in the public who have a very negative view yes. of not just um, judges, but of the legal system generally. And if you talk to those people, you'll discover that they felt that they were being that they were treated unfairly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oftentimes, people really aren't being treated unfairly. They just lost their particular they lost their particular case. But it's the judge's responsibility to ensure that they understand the process. Because if they understand, then they won't believe necessarily that they've been treated unfairly. Now yes. you're always going to have some people who have reason to complain. But the vast majority... And then it's the old saying, it's not what you say, but how, how you, you say, say it. it. How you say it. Absolutely. And I, I've... And how you past, treat people. Over the past 20 years, I've just gotten to the point where rather than complain about what I see and hear, I want to see if I can make a difference in changing the perception that the public has about our judiciary. Thank you so much for being my guest on Stand Up Now with Cynthia A. Johnson. Thank you so much for having me and Godspeed on your campaign too. Thank you so much. I wish you nothing but the best and I wish um, our county, the county of Wayne, nothing but the best because I believe that once you're elected, we're going to have one of the best. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Miss Tracy E. Green, candidate for Third Circuit Court Judge. Remember, go green for justice. Go green for justice. And my website, gogreenforjustice.org, to learn more about my candidacy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Y'all know I love y'all. And I love you too. God bless. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome.